Yeah. STEM was not a word back then, by the way. But um, here, you know, there were people that were um, out of the industry that were bringing real-world experiences into the classroom, moving away from that traditional chalk and talk and all that traditional exam stuff, you know, people that made connection with how learning connects to the real world. And so I had to start off on base level. Uh, I was a 38-year-old, I think I was, when I, I started in my education career. But, you know, I had enough confidence, I suppose, in myself to do things differently, you know, meet the expectations of what was required. But I did it differently. From the onset, my students um, were active learners. They were not passive learners. I've moved the desks. I danced on desks. I made them dance in the classroom. <laughs> I, um, I, I got things happening where they were choosing their own, you know, there was themes, their own investigations to do. So I was about having real scientists and real engineers in the classroom, electrons. working collaboratively in teams. 